Alrighty, g'day guys, welcome to some Survival Chaos. We are playing Felorc. I haven't played this map in quite a while, so... Yeah, alright, Dark Lord, Draenei, and Sorok. It's like early game... They're fairly early game focused, right? think so. I mean, this just sounds fun. Sure. Let's go, big man. Right, Sorok here. This is Draenei. Okay, repair. Attack speed. And shit I don't care about. Okay, so we want one attack upgrade already. It's nice to know, so he'll push in, but that's okay. Draenei is stronger than me early anyway. I think I'll just go mid upgrade first. These are probably a melee replacement, considering they're making like little mirror images. Pretty sure they wouldn't do that by default. So that's probably what his special is. Oh, a few things are doing that, so I guess it's a uh, like race special. Like all your units do this shit. He took the invis. Okay. Okay, so nothing hugely aggressive getting picked. Which I'm kind of happy about. Because obviously my special is very much a light game focused option. Right. Do we still have the pillage? No, that's fine. Don't need it. No mechanical, even if we did have pillage, so. It's pretty unexciting. I guess he pushed through, so Draenei is like over here somewhere. Do we need to invest the spell? I don't think so. We should be okay. Keep the mana, might get a income upgrade. Definitely a bit of damage, but it's not too bad, I don't think. Okay, he's gone to two now. So is the lizard. Right. I think I'm just gonna get the second level of this masonry. Alright, everyone's tech to mid. I'm kinda tempted to tech sides then. Because someone's gonna go for a fast hero in mid, which I can't do as well now that I've done two masonry. Still not a bad option for me though. I think I either tech up my sides or I go here I mid.
kind of like the sound of leveling a hero in mid, actually. A little ways away from it, though. Alright, we're pushing the drone eye, which is good. Got enough stuff stacked up now that um, we'll push all the way to his base unless he attacks. Okay, he went to three. Okay. Let's upgrade sides then. I don't really feel like going for a fast hero versus tier three. Just upgrade sides, go masonry, and play away from mid for a little bit. Yeah, he went tier three as well. And just take all the neutral gold on both sides. He just teched his bottom barracks, so I'll tech him um, top now. Try and uh, get some pressure, but I think I'll just go upgrade into more masonry. As long as no one loses a barracks particularly early, or well, unless they lose it to me, in that case is alright. As long as no one loses a barracks super early, my spot should be fine if I go masonry. First me, which is totally fine. He tech first me as well. I'm actually quite happy that they both tech first me. Because I took the capture gold from all the neutrals. Which is 300 total. Which they don't get tacking up. Now there are just more units on the sides. I mean, there's, there's more available gold. just gonna take the defensive option since I'm going masonry already which means building defense sort of just goes along with that then I am getting pushed by double tier twos at once who have both have more upgrades than me so while I don't think I'll lose a barracks I do think taking that makes a lot of sense Though I probably just use this, right? Yeah, I should probably just use this. It's 200 mana, but as long as I'm not spamming out spells, I'll get that back.
These things are just really strong early on. You can use these infernals to push and it can work pretty well, but playing a bit more defensively. regular upgrades. I'm gonna have to start getting tower upgrades as well, just because otherwise I won't be able to spend my gold. Well, everyone's tier 3, except for me. on my own hero if I summon one out. Thank you. Rain's such a bro. Such a bro. It's really good for me to send hero because it's not particularly threatening. Not with all this base armor I've got. Did he go hero items? No, he went camouflage, so. I was just thinking, like, that hero makes more sense, obviously, if you want hero items. Yeah, I think I might just go tier 3 rather than hero. Just accept a bit of damage because it shouldn't uh, stick long term. Damage on the barracks here should be short term. slowly kill a zero. some mid units, which is completely fine.
think I might try and go, uh, tier 3 right side as well, and then start getting some upgrades for the ogres. Because getting upgrades while I only have one of them spawning feels a bit meh. But change that to two of them spawning and it's, you know, twice as good. Use a tier one spell here, because they're in a bit of an awkward spot. Clear out a bunch of that. Yeah, these guys are just having the fist fight in mid. Um, but I should be pretty happy on sides. He sent another hero, which is just awesome for me. I hope he keeps doing that. So those heroes should be basically more gold for me than they are for him. I guess since I have Big Man, I'm inclined to go fast, um, or a bit of a faster tech to tier 3, but we'll get at least one level of Bloodlust. Really like awkward when I'm fighting at it, it's just outside of the range I'd like it to be. I guess we'll just drop the infernals. Then little tier one spell. Kinda of, it's more mana than I wanted to use, but it's alright. This for the AoE spell, which is so much damage. I'm probably safe to go big man on side. Should just be enough crap in mid where everything gets distracted there. I don't think I'm going to see blue um, over here for quite a long time. Huh. 
kind of surprised that I haven't managed to actually deal with him yet. will do it though I guess in range of the AOE suck now or the AOE drain Mr. Demo should be enough But now we got actually got some AOE damage from those warlocks. Should clear out some of his things. Okay, yeah, and we're gonna big man the green once he comes over here. I don't think he's gonna be ready for big man. his barracks is really low. I'm gonna get one level of the uh, building burning. I mean, four damage a second for 45 seconds. So we'll just see if we can't um, actually knock down his barracks. Because if we completely clear his barracks, we should be in a really good spot. Wave's bad timing, so I'll just send it out after my units here die. Alright, let's go, brother. Fuck yes, big man. Big stun. What an absolute chad. Okay, he's level 4 here, so I'm going to need to defend that. Probably need 3,000 gold, hero plus level 4 of my own. I can do one more tower upgrade. Uh, I'm not sure I can. T 
10 armor to infernals. Yeah, that seems kind of good. Actually, you know what? I should be able to. By the time he gets here, I should have 700 gold. Try to defend this. Yeah, that should be good. How are we looking over here? Sent two heroes out, and I'm pretty sure Big Man is fucking them both up. So he's still got 10,000 HP. Bit laggy, but his two heroes are 1600 and 7800. Oh, my infernals from the uh, fortress drop I just used defensively have just come in as well, which is awesome. Come on, big man. Come on, big man. Nice. Kill the first hero. Huge. I really want to kill his barracks if I can. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. Oh yes. Absolute gambit. Okay, red has smite, which is fine. Big man, huge. But obviously now he's being killed, which is actually ideal, because now we can summon him on right side. That's what we want to do. We want to basically just summon him on like every defense now. Just gonna go hard on the um. Out on the uh, thingy. Defenses. Yep, that's his uh, tier 4. He has smite, so I need to actually be really careful. Because even though I want to defend with big man, if he just smites it, it's not necessarily a great situation for me. So I need to have enough gold to deal with it after I get smited as well. So ideally 3700 I guess, but we should be able to kill this. Obviously, he's not spawning. He's only spawning units every like minute or so from his barracks. It's probably longer than that, actually. So even though he's got he's got level four spawns topside, they just don't spawn often enough with the building dead. So I'll push through and break his tower eventually. Eventually, hopefully, being fairly shortly. I should research ultimate weapon. Because I'll kill this and I'll get a decent chunk of gold. Research ultimate weapon, take mana steel. Mana steel from his special unit. Because I need mana on my fortress.
That's not what I need. I need that. So I'm expecting to get smited here. Obviously, ideally, I don't. I'm just gonna bank a bit of gold because if I need two to three heroes then I can get two to three heroes. I also need to defend mid actually. But I can upgrade to tier three. Then just use the infernal summon. Lag fest, isn't it? Right. Okay, big man just murdered his special unit, which is excellent. Exactly what I want to see. has another hero here, which big man will murder. Every so often he stacks up because we'll pull his units from mid. That's how that's happening. Yeah, get level three of fell shield because spell shield is Pretty damn important, I think. Also, get more multi shot. Multi shot and more bloodlust. Okay, so he's resummoned his special, but that should be okay. It's gonna be a very similar story. Gonna defend with big man, be careful not to get baited by smite. But the higher level he is, the less painful smite is, because if it doesn't take him down in one go, he might still get the infernal summons off. It'll, you know, stall for a decent amount of time. But I think I want to start banking now. Okay, got his tower, which is awesome. Partly because that gives him less defense, mostly because it gives me more, like, what, next defense less defense for next push, mostly because it gives me money though. So what upgrades have I got going? Uh, there. there. I need money, I'll cancel those. Rather not have to, of course, but very willing to. Alright, which one's least important? Probably multi shots least important. Just make sure we're ready.
Yep, that's the smite that that's expected. But because it was late, we should be fine anyway. Just make sure the barracks is hitting literally anything except the zeros. Summon another hero just to make sure we're fine, but we should be good. Got a bunch of the infernals, like as I said, if he doesn't smite it instantly, or if it doesn't instantly die to the smite, we still get a decent amount of output from him, and that smite costs like 300 mana. It's super expensive, so we won't be able to use that again. Like, it, it worked, it did its job. He's not getting pushed by my big man next time, or this time, but he can't do it again. So he kind of needed to actually kill my barracks in this push, and as you can see, it's not going to happen. So we're ready for that. Back to some more upgrades. Can't believe Green's one barracks is still holding on. Guess he had three heroes out of it. most of our gold being spent, which is good. Couple of basic heroes from him. We'll uh we'll run the big man again. We just wanna keep sending that. Be off cool down there, perfect. Assuming blue pushes all the way to my base, looks like he will, I might summon the, um... The... Axe Master. Just because he's level 1. Level 1 hero is super useless. First, like, a decent sized stack late game. So I might just summon it out. Just so it's like level 6 or something, and has some output. Money's not a major issue for me at this point. Fairly rich. Research complete. I believe my hero is still alive here. It's gonna die shortly, but it's hung around quite a long time, hey. I 
should be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. Because you can say it's level 1 hero. Super low output, right? Which is why we don't want him staying level 1 long term. Let's just take some mana from one of his heroes. Just because I want the 100 mana. Perfect. Now I'm only tier 3 mid, so I do need to be a little bit careful that blue doesn't push me through when I'm not ready for it. So after I defend this with big man, I might just preemptively upgrade my mid. Kind of strong, isn't it? When's his next item? Level 20. Coming real soon, then. Excellent. <laughs> oh, 20 damage a second. It's fucking water engine. Hell yeah. Just everything around in what 600? Quite good. How's my axe guy doing? Level 6, nice. They're a tiny bit stuck there, didn't he? No. I'm not really using his first item very synergistically at the moment, am I? But probably doesn't matter too much. More gold is required. More A bit more building burn. Okay, basic hero on my left side. It's fine. Good. Because that's a whole lot of money just sitting there and I kind of want it all. Oh, you pussy. What an absolute pussy. It's really annoying actually because it killed my uh, big man with the explosion. And Blue's still got a wave that I have to deal with now, so I probably uh, cancel that. Research complete. The timing is actually like really fucking bad for me, so because so I got to defend two sides now, so we'll cancel this as well. Just have the money to work with. They aren't like super scary pushes, no special, you know, just normal heroes, but still. So. The warlock this side. 
Save big man for left, I think. Just because he's on cooldown here. got smite which is annoying as hell but it doesn't actually finish off my big man because he's such a turbo chad which means he won't be able to do like critical damage here and he used a lot of uh, mana for that probably all with his mana really. Let's see if I can save that. It doesn't really matter if I can't. Nice. Save the barracks. Just denies him a bit of gold. Okay, that's his uh thing. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Red. No one cares what you think, you pussy. Absolute pussy. Not impressed. Such bad timing from him on my on his uh, surrender. The may at least. Maybe game hard, but it's probably okay, all things considered. Anyway, we'll suck it in. Bring his units into me as much as possible. Drop the infernals. Get the arrows rolling. Should be good. Thing is special is only level one. Ah, excellent. Everything defended. So my push slowed right down here because all my units from this side pulled to mid, but that was pretty helpful in the end. Big man's almost dead, so he's not very threatening, but it's almost out of smite. I really need to get some mana absorbed. Yep, thank you. I need to use that every time it's off cooldown. I've been kind of inefficient with it. And let's... All in mid. Well, I say all in. We just send the big man again in mid. And just try and overwhelm him. Three heroes and a pretty big stack. Could be, uh, could be quite nasty. really want to research out of these when they're such low HP. Pulls the special, but that's okay. That's so much damage on his barracks. He's dead. I think we kill the barracks in this wave now. Okay, 
That must have been a tier 2 spell from him. Used a bunch of mana and cleaned up some of my units. Maybe we don't get the barracks then, but no more smite for him now. Which is a big deal. Okay, my blade died, but that's good because I can use him to defend left side. Gotta pay attention to that on the minimap. Axe died as well. Yeah, I can just use those on left. Axe might be on cooldown. Nope, Axe is up. Nice, we got his racks. Huge, 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 huge. Just use the axe master, I think. Let's pull everything to hit my main. Breaking his mid is huge. Just need to defend half health Deathwing in mid, which shouldn't be too difficult. Got big man off cooldown this side. Got blade and warlock ready as well. Need to defend this side as well, it's two normal heroes. Okay, so that'll be blade. So maybe Blade and Warlock in mi from mid over here. I have my Infernal skill as well actually. I guess actually I don't need Big Man mid. Yeah, yeah, he hasn't got a barracks. I can use Big Man to defend right. Okay, so it's Big Man right and then Warlock mid. Yeah, that probably makes a lot more sense. Losing on this side when I had a hero. What happened? It's kind of awkward. Alright, well, first things first. Welcome back. So fucking strong. the infernals there and defend. Give mana. Thank you. If we can keep the towers up it's really nice as well. It's not critical but it just gives me an extra little bit of defense. A bit more ability to um change the aggro around. Max level big man. It's fucking disgusting. He did his mana rune. So he might have another smite. It's the uh, 5000 upgrade here.
Ah, there's no mid barracks, it should be too hard for him. Because, like, yeah, he sent his Deathwing split from my big man. He's just trying to run up mid, get to my base as quickly as possible. And do some damage that way, but... I have two heroes to defend him. He has no barracks. I can't believe Red is still here after that cowardly little forfeit maneuver of his. Totally want a blue to win. Not happy. Still not happy about that. But yeah, with no barracks behind it, so without like that many uh, units, that many friends. It's not that scary. Okay, smarted my big man. Didn't kill it, which is hilarious. Like 60 health. Big man, fucking OP. Obviously, he's gonna die now, but it's fine. That means we'll just summon him in mid. Because he spent 5,000 gold to get a smite up. Okay, this time we're pushing through on uh, left side, which is good. I guess it was just I didn't have enough of a stack last time. We'll let him come in a bit closer to my base just so I get some help from the towers. I don't need the help, big man would absolutely fuck up Deathwing, but we may as well make it quicker. These towers do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, just look at the stats. 670 to 750, 790 to 870, 39 armor, 31 armor. Big man probably has way more HP. It's just, it's just not fair. Big man too big. Yeah, it's just a matter of time with no mid barracks, just because it means I have constant pressure. Constant pressure, which will be enough to take these two towers without too much trouble. Might take a little while, depending how much he wants to invest to defend it, but it'll happen. It's basically inevitable. All I have to do is not lose any of my barracks in a unnecessary manner. But, like, I can just go triple hero here pretty comfortably. The reason I can go triple hero is I don't need to be scared of this side because I've got big man in mid. And either big man's gonna die and I'll summon him left and murder all this shit, or big man's gonna fucking end the game before this even reaches my base. One of the one of those two things are gonna happen. So I can just go like three heroes and just absolutely overwhelm them. And it looks like big man's just gonna end the game, potentially. Oh, what an absolute legend. What a slog, bloody hours <laughs> this but it's so, alright, we got the win in the end, and I guess he dies to the fortress explosion. Yep. So you know what? Oh, he's a fucking pussy. Never mind. <laughs> That's okay, we'll take those. Yeah, cheers very much for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Like, subscribe, all of that. I'll catch you in the next one. Fucking leave a like for Big Man, eh? Cheers.